Hi, I'm Tamara the Scove with your solar storm forecast for the week of June 2nd. The sun has been extremely flare quiet this week, but not so when it comes to solar ejections, like this gorgeous one off the west limb right here. The sun this week has become an expert at sending us stealthy mass ejections toward Earth, like this ejection here. Did you see it? Or how about this loop that comes next? Look at this. Do you see that come off? Let me play it in slow motion. You see this dark purple loop that begins to slowly sneak off the sun like that? Those two storms are Earth directed. Switching to our flare meter, you can see we did have an M-class flare back on the 24th, but pretty much everything since then has been way below the M-flare threat level, so there really hasn't been any disruptions in your GPS or satellite communications, nothing like that. However, we did have a short period of uh, a solar storm hitting Earth on the 30th. You can see it in purple region right here, but it only lasted about four hours before the field flipped north and then everything smoothed out. Switching to our stoplight chart, you can see we had a very short burst of unsettled conditions that only lasted about four hours but it was nice enough to give us some beautiful aurora in Tasmania. Now for those who think the sun's gone to sleep, take a look at this. Here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo B. That's the view we're looking at. This happened two weeks ago. Boom! Right there. Do you see that? That could have been Carrington class. Now we move to the current day. You see all this fizzing and crackling on the east limb. That's from regions 2077 and 2079 before they reached the Earth side of the, of the disk. So we expect to see a lot more from them in the coming days. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, these are synoptic charts that show all of the active regions over the sun. The two vertical lines show the east and west limbs and they bracket the Earth field of view. Now, when we put these charts into motion, you'll start seeing all of this new growth that is uh, behind the east limb that's beginning to rotate onto the east limb. This new growth means that we're going to start seeing a larger chance for uh, M-class flares over the course of this upcoming week. Expect that NOAA will up its M-class flare chance uh, above 5%. Uh, it's hard to say how much. It all depends upon the configuration of these active regions. And as we return to the disk, you can see region 2065 is moving off to the west limb. That was the source of that M1.3 flare that we had back on the 24th. Now all the other regions on the center disk are stable right now, but we do have those new regions coming in on the east limb, uh, region 2077, 2079. That's the reason why NOAA is upping their uh, M-class flare threat level to 5%. And this new region 2078, uh, that's just beginning to show it may actually be a flare producer over the coming week as well. And as we turn to our five-day outlook for solar storm and aurora possibilities this week, at high latitudes you can see we pretty much have uh, normal to unsettled conditions for the entire week. The NOAA three-day official uh, forecast shows on June 3rd, unsettled to a 30% chance of a minor storm condition because of a high-speed stream that's going to be moving through and it should dissipate uh, by June 4th. Uh, but then I've extended the forecast out on the 5th because we expect those two solar storms should be hitting. So I've been extended that unsettled conditions out through at least Thursday, maybe possibly into Friday. Now turning to mid-latitudes, you can see a similar effect, but just not quite as dramatic. Uh, NOAA's official three-day forecast calls for a 15% chance of unsettled conditions through the 3rd and 4th. That's due to that high-speed stream moving through. And then I've extended the forecast to include the solar storms on the 5th again, which may bring unsettled conditions clear into the 6th by, by the time things begin to calm down. And as we switch to the solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook, NOAA's official three-day forecast calls for about a 5% chance of M-class flares over the next three days. I believe that will probably be true over the next week uh, with regions 2077, 78, and 79 being the major players. Only 2078 is uh, unstable at this moment, but we have yet to really see 77 and 79 rotate onto the disk. So these numbers may change and may increase as the week wears on. So this week looks to be pretty exciting. We've got pretty much unsettled conditions almost the whole week uh, with that high-speed stream rolling in and of course those couple stealthy solar storms that are happening later this week. So expect to have some maybe minor GPS issues, especially at high latitudes, and you Hamot radio operators expect to have a few disruptions, especially peaking on the 3rd and probably again on the 5th, maybe even into the 6th. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.